Hey, what's up guys, 3 Nerd here. In today's episode, I would like to show you how to use Quixel Bridge because more in this scene, it's about more materials. For the lighting, I already have other videos which you can check on my channel, but today's I would like to focus more on materials. It's really simple and it's really good and works perfect. And without losing time, I would like to sh start working with it. So this is al already the scene. I'm using a uh, punchy filmic tone mapping and minus one then so this the, the exposure is not that that high because I want to reach this this black uh, theme here and I for for in the materials I use it also for for example uh, an interior lighting you could use any HDRs that's not a problem and also for the background I use the JPEG I just searched in the internet for a city because the scene is a skyscraper museum and then I added a color correction I changed it a bit the brightness and the saturation and I added to the refraction override good then we want to add the materials make sure you select first this is the quixel bridge guys and these are the, the items which I already downloaded and added as favorite so I don't that the video doesn't be so long. But you have to do it, you have to click export, you wait, it shows here already successful uh, exported. You start the interaction rendering and we see what is going on. Yes, it's here. Then we go to the materials and here it is. Make sure that you move this always because the from the Quixel bridge will come always on the middle in the same point so to this what i did is to achieve this 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 wall because already as we see we have a brownish color and really less ref reflections first i added a corona color corrector i changed it uh, so the saturation here i wanted to be more to gray color we have it here and then I removed the roughness here because I want to have more reflection on it. I, I took the, al the albed, so albed is the color. And I added another corona color correction. I connected these two. And then I went by 0 0.5. So the brightness. So the darker it is, there is more reflection. The brighter it is, is less uh, reflections. And then I added also, and then I let it like this. And then you could work also further later that to check it how to, if it is good or you need more to add. But most of the time, that's what you need for the moment. Then I added a UV mapping. I could show you. So UV mapping, and I leave it as a face. Because this is not a box, this is a face. So good. Then for the other materials, for the let's 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 do it with the with the stones. That's the stones are really cool. I created just by with line and then I added shell and then I converted to to poly uh, editable poly. And then for the for the stone also, you just click export, you wait. And it should be there soon. I think yeah, it's there. Good. So what we need first, we need a UV mapping. That's that's really important. And I just had it as a box. I didn't touch nothing else. We already see that there is the stone, but for the materials, we have to change a bit in the material. In the slate materials, we go here. First, I want to add to the uh, to the roughness a color correction, like I did before. And now we need more sharp, more ref reflections. As you can see here, the color correction is white. What we have to do? We have to invert the color. And here it is. Then we go to the slate material. So this is the, the main body which it takes all the, the things. We went to here. I wanted like this to be the 17, but then I mixed the, the color, the, the roughness. So the I mixed the roughness and the IOR. 
I went by 70%. Yeah, higher. So the higher you get, so like 100% is more reflection, less is less ref reflections. Good. Then I added to the, all the stone the same texture. Uh, by clicking just like this. Wait, I move it here. You can stop this because it will it will take more time. I need the um, slate material now. And assign material, assign material. Good. And there, there you have it. And then what I did is actually I added also in all of them UV mapping box. A UV mapping. UV mapping is a tool that that um, that uh, that the, it wraps the materials in it. Box as a box, not as a face, as a box. So UV mapping helps to to wrap the materials. Good. Then we need also this. Good. And here we have it now. If we start interaction rendering, if you don't want to to render all the scene, you want to check this. You just go and add this the region where you want. And here it is. That looks good. Now I would like to add the materials on the on the on the ceiling. Then you go to pixel region. I I was using this one, but you you could add anything else this is like like for acoustic and all these things and already is there i guess yes we go here we start the interaction rendering we wait a bit and yeah that's it's there that's good Good. Now what we need is of course a UV mapping always that the, the, the materials are wrapped good. We'll go as a box and we change the length of 300 to be to 300 and we could leave it also 300. You won't, you won't see that much, that much different. But the only thing I would like is that I would like to rotate UV mapping. Because I have here a line, which doesn't look that good. And what you do is, let me stop this. We go here, we make sure we have this angle snap tool, and we go, that looks good. And start the interaction rendering. I'm adding a region so that I know what I'm doing. Yeah, that looks good. I want to move a bit to the middle, that this line goes good. This. I'm going to the slate material, I'm moving this, and I would like also on the background you have you make sure that you go you click UV mapping because you cannot click nothing else. And I'm adding also this on the background. Good. So far looks good. Now I would like to, to change the so to add also for this material. We could go to the Quixel bridge and add this one. Mm, yeah. Good. So it's adding the material. Then what we need is here. We open the Corona production rendering. We need here to add some Corona color correction with this one. Sorry, like I said, it you have to move it always, all the time. This because it won't. Then we add the Corona color correction. I want to change a bit the colors, as you can see here. It's more dark, not that shiny moment. It's a bit shiny, and I don't want that. Yeah. 
takes a bit time. And I would like to increase so that is not as you see here it's really dark. So of course then the, the, the bright uh, the, the reflections will be high. So I went brighter. And then I added also to the corona to the roughness a color correction. And here also I added like 0.8 with inverted colors. And here it is. Then you see, you can see you have also this pumping, which looks really good. Good. Now I would like to add the, the materials on the on the hallway. We go to the Quixel bridge. I already see that I don't have it here. You could go to the local files and it should be here. Yes, it's there. But I have to do it. We can click this one and we go to the Quixel bridge and we add this. I add it to a favorite so I have it all the time because it's a really good texture. We wait a bit. It will pop up here. Why it takes so long? Because also in slate material, it should the uh, the three D Max renders all the also the materials in it. As you can see, it's waiting. You can see here bottom that it's rendering the materials. Good. The materials are already rendered. Then we need a UV mapping, and we can stop for a second. We have the UV mapping. And we go as a box, and I say like it's 200 with 200, length 200 with 200, and also the height you can leave it as a 10 centimeters. That's not a problem. We saw the interaction rendering, we see what is going on. Actually, the downside of the 3D Max that it doesn't have a, a real time rendering so that you see what is going on. So I change it to the side, yeah, that looks good. Now next I would like to add the, the, the materials on the bottom, which is the wood surface. We can, we have, make sure always to click UV mapping first before you wanna, you wanna change something else because it won't work. Then I'm going to my favorites there, which I had, I, I had this wood. And of course, here it is the wood. Is it there? Yes, that's good. I need, we need also a UV mapping. I'm changing here. I'm making it a bit smaller because it's really hard. It's getting really hard to work with it. Okay, it won't, doesn't want to, to make smaller, which is weird. Okay, it doesn't go any smaller. That's not wrong. Let's work further. UV mapping box, and this I would like to go like the panels that looks a bit smaller 300, 300. Yes, that looks good. We go to the slate material always. We move this material. We go to the we want to check, we want to uh, change a bit the color of the, the of the albedo so the that is. That doesn't look so so brownish as you can see here it looks so brownish when you add this and you go to the saturation minus 0 0.5 and then it's a bit grayish that's good this is also ended as a as i see i have forgotten to add a material to the stone to the stone on the left yes and here it is and also a uv mapping good and we have it all of them. That's good. Next is this metal. Actually, metal you could add it just by clicking Corona physical material and go to the yeah aluminum brushed. You click here. You click the materials. You add it, and, and there it is. You could change the color. Yes, we could go for more darker and also the roughness we could go higher so that it's not that that high. And that's good. It's also done. 
I would like to go a bit higher. Yeah, that's it. Actually, also for for the this outside, I would like to go also. I could add also for the windows there. Let us see. Yes, we could add the same material. That's not a problem at all. We can check it. Yeah, it's darker, but this roughness should be one. And also the 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 stone there. Good. So far so good, but it's not that what I want. I added, I want to add something else. I'm going to Crystal Bridge, and I would like to add this metal. Yes. What we need else? Okay. Okay. Yeah. This looks good. The materials is here. And also there, yeah, that's that's good. And of course, we need the UV mapping. That wraps good as a box, and just leave it like this. You don't have to work anymore because there is it's so far ahead, so we don't see all the the textures. But good. Next is then we add. I added a plant here, yeah. Then we go and I think I've left it there, yeah. Good, and here it is. And that's it. That's, I think we already have the, the, the things. Yes, that's it. That's not much more going on here. And yeah, that's it. After that, th the next thing that is important is to render it. What you have to do is you have to go to the setup, render setup. The denoising is a bit too low, but it's it's up. It's all about it's up to your computer. Of course, the 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 resolution what you want. The higher, the better, but the longer it takes, then to the denoise, you go to the Corona high quality, and that's it. And then you just click render, you wait like I waited like one hour for this render. And then also, I I want also to use a bit Photoshop that to have this balance colors around it. What I did is I went to the Photoshop. And it takes a bit time. Yes, and here it is. And after that, I went to the camera raw filter. You can see it here. I will make a bit smaller so. See all the setting. I went to the auto, and you see it's too bright. What I did next is I made that the brightness, is, the exposure is lower. Then I changed a bit. I think yeah, the shadow a bit. Then I added a bit clear, like five, and also the sharpness like five, and that's it. And then you see it changed. It looks beautiful. And then you can save it. File, save, and that's it from the Photoshop. Okay, guys, thank you for watching it. Please make sure to subscribe and like the video so I can post more content. And for lightning, you can check my other videos and you can see how to use lightings. But for this episode, I, will, I wanted to focus more on the, the materials and using Quixel Bridge. Okay guys, thank you for watching it and have a great day.